I told you, I always finish what I start. Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. I already beat the three stages that I needed to beat. Yeah, I decided to do it off camera because these stages are pretty ridiculous. Well, at least two of the three stages are. So, what I'm gonna be showing here are the replays and commentating over them. And, oops, what am I doing that for? I'm gonna go and show you the easiest one first. Believe it or not, the easiest one was the Cashless Castle Crawl. I thought you actually couldn't collect any coins whatsoever, but I wasn't paying much attention here. Um, you actually have the five coin let, like you did in the other coin challenge stages here. Now remember, you can't collect too many coins, and you also can't run. But otherwise, this one is pretty much like that other one, where you had the uh, just castle, you know, crawl through the stage without running. I mean, you can hold the run button, but it's not going to do anything. <laughs> but what I mean is that the concept is pretty much the same, because most of the coins are not really in your way, except for stuff like that, which are really hard to avoid. But don't feel too bad, but watch, watch this move right here. Yeah, I accidentally got a coin there in my run. Even Luigi looked at the camera and he was like, Why did you do that? That was dumb. Why, you should have jumped over the block. But this is a successful run and I am not complaining. <laughs> I don't even know why I continued with this run. I guess I just did it for practice. Because, you know, when, when I would have a bad first start like that, I would typically restart a stage to give me a better shot at the uh, last parts of it, but I decided to go on with it and see how things went. And as, as you can tell, it was successful. That's a pretty tricky jump there, by the way. <laughs> uh, but on this one, the, as I said, the coins really are not all that big of a deal. I mean, at places they are, but they aren't more threatening than the enemies and spike balls. Except maybe here. This one, I it took a little bit of practice. But overall, the stage only took like 10 tries for me to get through or so. I forgot how many, but it, it didn't take me long at all. I just had to get the hang of a few tricky spots and then it was pretty much uh, the same stage as before. And since I'm rather used to the stage, that was really close. <laughs> Uh, since I'm rather used to the stage, I didn't have all that much issue getting through the rest of this. Uh, there was this section that I was a little bit puzzled on because those two coins down there. But after I thought about it a bit more, I remember that I did not have to actually go where those coins were before to escape that spike ball. I actually had to go just a little bit before that. Here, I'm going to show you right now. Right there, safe. Jump over everything, jump, jump, keep going, don't stop, you have completed it. Yeah! Alright, this next one. Express Elevator. This one is really hard to explain how I managed to do this. But before I get into it, remember that every time it looks like that I am jumping for no reason, I what I am doing is I am trying to spawn the traps and enemies at different points to make it easier on myself to get through it. And so, so when I don't jump, or when I jump, I am purposefully making sure that I am going to be able to get through the next obstacle. Like this first portion here, I'm not going to jump at all. Well, except for there. It doesn't really matter though at that point. But what I mean is I don't want to keep jumping to spawn each Goomba at each level. I want them to spawn at their latest possible point because if you get them to spawn earlier they're gonna fall on the platform and you're gonna be screwed because you can't have anything touch the platform well except for you of course um the section with the bob -ombs coming up I actually got a little bit of help from which I don't mind at this point because I was completely stumped at this because you know I don't I never give up on stages unless I I mean I should I should say I don't give up on stages unless I'm totally stumped because whenever I have an idea on how to get through something I keep trying that until I get it but since I didn't have an idea on how to do this I had no no clue how to get past this what you're actually supposed to do is that right there and this was told to me by Melissa Day as a possibility in that uh, your best bet here is that you freeze the bob -ombs at the highest possible point you can in your jump then get underneath them and break them before they hit the platform Getting underneath them is pretty tricky because the ice itself can get in your way, and if it does, 
you're pretty much done. <laughs> so what you gotta do is, uh, the best thing that I found is actually to jump towards them and then as you're falling on the ground, press down so you slide underneath the ice block in a crouching position. Something like that. <laughs> and what that does is it gives you a little bit more let because as you know your ice ice luigi well ice mario or ice toad whatever and that that gives you one more extra square of room and there's the end i hope you understand the stage a little bit more because this one was i, I don't know how else to describe a stage like that because as I said, what I was doing whenever you would see me jump or not jump in certain cases is that I was manipulating the timing of things to make things easier. And that's something that is really hard to describe or to show unless you try it yourself. So that's all I can recommend you is to watch when I jump and see why I did it on your end when you play that, that stage yourself. Alright, last stage. Don't touch anything. This is by far the hardest stage in the game. Without a doubt. <laughs> it is... It, oh, the, anytime that you see like jumps like this, that you have to get over long lines of coins, or have to get underneath coins, it's so easy to mess up and collect the coin along the way. It there's The timing is just so ridiculously tight that the chances of you getting through it, even with uh, collecting, I mean, we, even with a five coin let, is slim to none, unfortunately. But I did my best, and I'm honestly not sure how exactly I got through this. But I guess everything was just in the right spots for me to be able to pull it off. And like, as I said before, the Lakitu's, the random factor of the Lakitu's. Oh, you want to get on that question mark box and jump over those coins, by the way, those first lines of coins. But the Lakitu's, they are, a, oh, that was a big mistake there. But I still make it through anyway, obviously. The Lakitu's are quite an issue because of the fact that uh, they, they are pretty much random in what they do. So if you don't know when they're, when they're gonna throw, so there's no real consistency. On top of that, you have tight jumps to get through, and yeah, it's it's gonna be a uphill battle if you want to get through this stage. It's you can see the path that I did there, but unfortunately, that is not a consistent path. None of the paths that I went through were consistent, aside from when there wasn't a lack of two in play because of the lack of two factor, and you have to time everything together, and that's kind of the issue. Now. As for these stages, uh, these ones right here in boost mode, I don't think I'm gonna do them. <laughs> they were meant to be for co-op, as I th as I said, you know, for multiple players, and I don't do co-op videos, so I probably shouldn't have started these to begin with. But you know, I was doing the walkthrough blind, so I had no idea what I was getting into. Yada yada, you get you get the idea. So I think I'm actually gonna skip out on those. Um. As for the uh, boost rush and coin battle modes, the coin battle is also multiplayer, as you can see here. It's two, three, or four, plus the uh, uh, person with the uh, gamepad, excuse me. Uh, the boost rush mode, I'll show you a bit of it, but I don't really think I'm going to show you much more of what I'm going to show you here, and you'll see why in just a second. Uh, I, I looked this up ahead of time to see what kind of mode this was. I never played any of these before, but it's basically you collect coins to increase your, your, the speed. It's an, all stages are auto scroll, but you're playing the same stages you've played before. You'll see what I mean here. See? So it's not. This is um, 1 1 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think. <laughs> Well, anyway, the more coins you get, uh, the faster the screen scrolls, and as I said before, if I were to play these stages, well, actually, I didn't say this before, if I were to play these stages, it would basically be me playing these stages again. Like, because I already did, did these in the walkthrough, and all I'm doing is playing them with the auto scroll. so it's like, what's the point of showing this again if, I mean, I can, I'm, 
I mean, I'm showing you the boost rush mode for the sh sake of showing you a boost rush. The idea is to collect as many coins as you can to get through the stage as fast as you can, and that's the challenge. But of course, the more coins that you have, the harder the stage is. And I should have gone down there for a bonus, shouldn't I? Ah, whatever. <laughs> and you... Oh, well. I was gonna say I missed that. Oopsie. <laughs> that was my mistake. And yeah, you you pop out in a bubble if that would ha if that were to happen. It's no big deal. <laughs> it's so you there really isn't all that many penalties, especially with how many lives you know that you can get in this game. So I guess the the real challenge is just getting through the stage as fast as you, as you possibly can. But it's it's not so much the live the you know dying or something like that, or it's not so much getting the star coins. It's just about getting the getting through the stage faster, and that's sort of controlled by the the coins of the stage itself. And yeah, it's it's not really something that I don't think is. I mean, I don't feel it's worth showing aside from you know just to show what the mode is like and whatnot. And that's basically what I'm doing right here. <laughs> so I'm just going through the easy course here. I mean, I suppose they're slightly different because, you know, they're auto-scrolling. So you have a little bit more pressure at certain state, at certain circumstances, and you also can't rush ahead uh, like you would normally, so things you have to kind of improvise at times, but it's still just, you know, some new Super Mario Brothers U, except uh, stages have been auto-scrolled and you can speed them up depending on the coins you get. Super speed for the star coin, I guess. It gives you like a little bonus of sorts. Midpoint! I don't even know why there's a midpoint, because you, if you die, you pop out in the bubble. I suppose stuff like this would be a little tricky because you gotta stay on top of it rather than being able to wait for things that, to come your way. But that's... everything seems to be timed I mean, the stages that they picked seem to be timed in a way that work in your favor. Like, you don't have to worry about that sort of thing killing you too often because the, as I said, the, st the stages they picked were intelligently picked. So, no matter how fast or slow the screen is scrolling, you'll always be able to get through those obstacles. Or at least I think you'll be able to. It just looks like that by the uh, stages that I've seen that they picked. And that pretty much concludes this walkthrough. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to make any more parts of it unless I decide to make some extras or whatever, but I I actually think I'm pretty much done, though. I mean, I showed all there was pretty much to show. I mean, if I were to go through the courses, as I said, there it's just the stages all over again. Well, certain hand-picked stages. So, yeah. <laughs> kind of an awkward ending since uh, I didn't know when this walkthrough was going to end so I had no way to plan for when it was going to end because you know it was it was blind and all and stuff like that so uh yeah very awkward <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless and I will see you later